footage on the line for a long awaited update. The, uh, the, the layout has, has progressed rather slowly. I've been busy trying to do uh, one or two things on it, namely a bridge at the back, and if it has seen it work. Um, doing odd, odd bits and pieces, and I've built a long platform here which is just the base, it's all loose at the moment. And then I need to ballast uh, the, the, the um, second load of tracks that I've put in and the changes to Godfrey Junction. And as I said, the uh, progress has been rather slow. Um, there's only been this area where there's been progress. And I'm just taking it slowly around. Uh, just behind me, I'm starting to do a bit more. And the bridge comes down. I've got lighting um, on the bridge. Normal, modern day uh, street lamps. I've got some... Uh, lighting over the turntable yard and the DMU parking area in the corner in front of the uh, 1930s uh, building, office building. Um, and I've made a little work yard here. Um, it's, I've got fencing to do and a bit more. I've made a hole in the bridge for access, uh, vehicle access. Um, just to make it a bit more prototypical but that just then makes it harder on the other side of the bridge where I've got uh, this track which is my heritage line going through uh, to mix the old with the new um, I'm not really bothered too much about the uh, authenticity of it all it's just got to work nice for me and, and do what I wanted to do. One of the reasons for the slow progress on the unit, on the layout, is uh, plenty of shows to go to, um, plenty of exhibitions, loads of photos, loads of videos, but yet to be uh, made into a film for uploading to YouTube. Uh, but the shows have been. Uh, Quite, quite good really, there's been some nice models, uh, I've been to uh, one in Barnsley, I've been uh, all over the place, local. Um, but just recently uh, the MRYCG, uh, a group of us were invited to Hatton's in Liverpool and uh, if you uh, click on the link above you will see uh, Barnabas Junction has made these uh, videos in parts 1, 2 and 3 um, and I've also been to Worley and that's where you start spending money um, with the uh, Worley show it's been uh, quite good um, met Pete Waterman this, uh, this train you see coming down here. That's a class 4F which has been seen around the Jumble Lane area pulling the uh, coal wagons. That's uh, been a common thing. So I bought one of those from Hattons. And then uh, The, uh, the Wally Show, I just could not resist. I couldn't resist that. Uh, it's something that I was going to pre-order at one time, but then, uh, then Jason at Bar Barnabas Junction um, showed his. I thought, yes, I do like that. It's very nice.
hand of God has to come into play because uh, one thing I've done, I've cleaned my track, but I haven't cleaned my turntable. So there it is, the Class 37 Euro Phoenix, the Backman model. I'm not going to go into a, uh, an in-depth detail about it, apart to say it's uh, quite good. In fact, very good. And again, if you, uh, if you want to see all its functions and everything else, head over to Barnabas Junction, uh, where these done a very good uh, meet the fleet uh, explanation of this loco. Uh, so I think I'll just leave to uh, Jason. As you can see, um, these are the lights. We've got the lights in the uh, turntable yard. Let's just uh, zoom in at those. You can see quite clearly there are two different colours of lights. Some are uh, warm white and some are cold white. Um, Purchased at different times, not realising I'd purchased um, different turn of lighting. But uh, a bit late once they're glued in place and painted up. And then we have the, um, the street lighting. It's looking a bit blue on the uh, camera monitor. So, uh, it is a fairly cold white, white, bright white, and as you can see this is quite a, a narrow road on this bridge. So, what we intend to do here is limit the traffic with a traffic light at the moment. The traffic light is on red. Uh, it's, it's automatic. And then uh, we'll have a change. It's green and it allows the traffic to go up the hill to the top of the bridge. And we'll 
once that's passed the uh, other traffic comes down and as you can see now the part widens down and there's the traffic lights there is lighting in the station at uh, Godfrey Junction and uh, I have a power supply which feeds separate lights to the uh, station, the street lighting uh, and the yard lighting. Again, um, only the two tracks are ballasted and this was because that was the original two tracks that came along here to the bridge, the pull out bridge but now I've got four lanes on the bridge and uh, well, I started to ballast at this end I did run out of the uh, lighter ballast so uh, I'm trying to find the same colour ballast but that's proving to be a bit difficult at the moment it's something I've had for a very long time but uh, I'm hopefully uh, that I'll be able to get some more the four lanes going over the bridge pull out. It's uh, not really practical to have four lanes on a bridge like that but uh, it's just practical to have a pull out section so as yet it hasn't been uh, ballasted, hasn't made scenery. That was going to be the Oaks Viaduct which I've had to show all the plans for that. Um, not only was it going to be quite difficult to do that, um, it never had four lines I'm not too sure if it had two lines of track going out across it. I haven't done all my research for that, but uh, there's no way I was going to be able to uh, make that into the Oaks Viaduct, especially with four tracks. So I'm not too sure whether I'll just make this look part of a scenery or, or part of a bridge or what. Um, that part I haven't decided on yet. The turntable yard and the uh the diesel fuel point um, at the end here I've got to build some uh, buffers and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one great big long line of brickwork where the buffers are set into it a bit like uh, you get at the uh, station platforms um, at the end such as uh, in Piccadilly station in London um, and I'll, I'll get the buffers built into the wall at the end and then I'm going to have uh, two or three street lights on top of that shining in uh, to the yard uh, as this does get a bit darker compared to the rest of it which has got the lighting on. On the edges of the, uh, the yard where you've got like, the uh, coping stones to the wall I'm going to do a uh, palisade fencing which goes all the way around uh, to this end be a bit of fencing there to stop people walking off the end of the platform as well and the uh, like a, an old maintenance yard uh, is going to have some palisade fencing around there I've got the fencing just haven't uh, painted it up yet and then it will be fitted looking at uh, the view that you get from the uh, cab of a train and you see the bridge um, the detail on that is uh, that's just card and what I've done there I've got uh, layers of card um, and they've been cut out using a, a, a Cricut uh, plotter cutter uh, machine which cuts the card out uh, to the shapes that you want it to and it's, it's looking uh, quite good it does what I want it to do um, still some more scenery to do I've uh, got the basis of uh, what I want to do there I've just got some uh, grass, some trees and some bushes to put in a bit uh, a bit like the, uh, the additional bushes 
at the, uh, the entrance to the uh, vehicle access into the yard. There hasn't been much else done to the, uh, the DMU parking spaces. That's functional. Uh, it's got this lighting and uh, really just to be left. The only thing I've got to do in that area there is trees right up into the corner uh, on top of the bridge and the, uh, the coping stones at the top of the uh, 1930s uh, building there. What I, what I plan to do in this corner here is uh, I'm going to get a tree as you can see I've got a mirror on the wall so I'm going to get a, a tree right at the very edge up there which covers the edges of the uh, the mirror so you don't really see it and have something going across the road maybe some form of uh, road sign gantry just to hide the top of the mirror to make it look a bit better. For the area behind the bridge towards the uh, back end of this. I'm going to fill this area with uh, a bit of a, a bit of a hill which will fill most of this part of the scenery and come down probably with a supporting wall there um, coming off the, the, the rise at the back of this track here and gently give an embankment down to this track all the way up. Um, there are plans which I won't go into at the moment uh, roughly where the camera is sat or just behind it some uh, animation for future filming. Um, this little part here is the, the road that comes out of the bridge uh, the, well the tunnel leading to the um, access road for the yard so all this is going to be made into a bit of scenery around here and I'm going to have this little bit of a road coming through and a small platform um, it's like a bit of a run around here and a little bit of a roadway track through uh, as this is uh, for uh, the heritage railway uh, just for people to get on and off the, uh, the trains as, as needed um, and then just to the back of the camera in that point that area there it's going to be a little bit of a car park at the end of this road uh, on, on the bridge um, and that this is how you get to the heritage railway station as such and to get the uh, maintenance vehicles to come down and go through through this little hole here. Um, it hasn't got any name for this area um, so uh, I don't know what to do as far as naming this station. Um, Jumble Lane is, is, is actually a place and, and that's the name of the actual layout and I've yet to do that uh, area of the station that I want to depict back in the uh, mid to late 50s. Godfrey Junction is uh, what you've just seen. That is because my dad built the station. His name is Godfrey. He built that station for me and uh, because he's housebound he can't get here. So all these films really are for his benefit to see as well. So you can see the progress and see what uh, hard work he's done to help. So, I think, uh, in all honesty, I've got to find a name for this station and I might uh, do something in the lines of uh, naming it uh, something to do with my mum. I also think she's the uh, hardest working person in the family group, looking after my dad. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just befitting that, uh, this area. So I've got, to, I've got to find a way of getting my mum's name into it. Her name is June Rose. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see how we're going to do it.
Now this is the part of the uh, where I'm going to have the car park and uh, a bit of a, a platform area for the Heritage Railway and you can see there's two tracks to that one will be like a run around just so we can uh, demonstrate the old fashioned way of, of trains coming to the end and a bit of a run around although this is part of the loop it, it leaves the main line and then rejoins the main line so technically there is no reason for a run around uh, you only have a run around at the end of a branch line so you can uh, move the the low code back to the uh, front end of the, the train. So that's just about it uh, from Jumble Lane for today. A bit of a short update on the uh, layout. See how things are progressing. It is a bit slow, a bit like I said at the beginning. That's because there's been plenty of shows to go to. So, and that's it. So we'll let uh, Class 4F, shoot off.